Hey, what's up, guys? A slightly different setup today. For whatever reasons, I don't have a place to record this video, but I wanted to come online and share this with you because I've been watching all these videos on YouTube uh, for the past few days about accommodation in Ireland, and I think the picture is not being portrayed in the right way. To be honest, the housing market currently in Ireland is at its shittiest low. Over the past three weeks, since the start of August, I've been looking for an apartment for myself in Cork. I've been living all around the southern part of Ireland over the last 10 months or so. And now and now I got an opportunity to move to Cork because, because of work, obviously. So here's what I experienced. I had to contact 90 people in total before I could find something suitable for me. I won't say this is still suitable because it is far away from any uh, civilization that I was hoping for. I sent 90 emails and only 9 people replied to me. I'm talking about websites like daft.ie and Facebook. They, these are the two uh, sources that I use. Some people would say there is rent.ie and then there is uh, Gumtree and places like that. But daft.ie is a media company that owns all the latent websites here in Ireland. So be it property.ie, rent.ie, led.ie, they're all owned by dav.ie. So if a landlord places an ad on dav.ie, uh, it costs them one euro per ad for uh, uh, six weeks or uh, six months, I think, I don't know. So if they place an ad there, the ad is pulled up to the other websites that Daft owns. So it means the same ad is being posted at least four or five times on the internet. However, the current situation is such that there are so many people looking for accommodation in cities like Dublin and Cork that the amount of houses that are available are simply just not enough. The government is not building any new houses. Even if some new uh, sites are being built, they are barely affordable to common masses. Now, the average income of common people in this country is around 2000 euros. I'm talking about a normal entry level to mid level jobs. That is the kind of job that people are involved in. Common people are involved in. Let's forget about the rich people. So let's say they have an annual package of 30 to 40,000. And when you go and apply for a home loan or for a mortgage, the bank will only lend you the amount that is thrice your annual income. So if you're earning 40,000, you're only eligible to get a, get a loan for 120,000. Now there are no good houses that you can get in that amount in that cost even if you even if you do it would be either a small cottage or a one bedroom apartment or something like that now you might think that maybe i'm just talking about the people who want to buy a house however that's not the situation this is also the case in case of the rental market now what i've personally experienced in Cork city is the infrastructure of the city uh, the housing infrastructure i would say is in shambles it's literally in shambles there are these very old constructions in in and around Cork City houses that are at least 20 years old requiring serious upgrade are being rented out to people for an exorbitant amount that is just not seen before. Now again from YouTube, uh, I know that people are showing how they were able to uh, secure an accommodation at such a cheap price uh, in a great locality and uh, what a great house and apartment that they have moved to but again it's very misleading and it does not show you the actual picture that is the only reason why i'm here and i'm talking to you guys now if you look at the ads that are being posted for a one bedroom house in core the cost have reached about 1300 to 1400 euros a month now, like I said before, if you're earning 2000 euros a month and you think maybe, yes, it falls within your range, within the range of your income, then there is a catch. Even you apply, when you apply to rent these properties, the letting agent or the landlord will ask you for your income proof, your salary sleeps, bank statements, etc. They'll check what is the amount of money that you earn. And uh, after you pay the rent, how is the amount that is left for you and what are your other expenses? And because of and because of that will it be sustainable for you to rent the place for long term let me put some pictures on the screen here these are just some examples of where the costs have reached 
now these places look good they look beautiful but when you actually go and see the conditions that these houses are in they're not worth at all now a big part is played by the real estate agents the letting agents now obviously they want to make the best of the situation and earn as much and as much money as possible and this has pushed the inflation levels in the rental market or in housing housing market in general to a very high level now unfortunately the incomes of the people is not going high like that so this is what the actual scenario uh, in cork in dublin or anywhere in ireland is now i know some of the counties are pretty cheap i was just uh, i was visiting a friend in waterford earlier he was paying a very cheap rent around 750 euros for a huge three bedroom house now there's also a word going around that a lot of people who had moved to the countryside during the pandemic are returning to cities that's another reason that is adding to this crunch in the housing market i think it's very worrying for people like me who have come from a different country uh, who are working here and uh, are just trying to find themselves themselves a corner as i was saying earlier i sent about 90 emails i applied at 90 places only 9 people replied to me two of them were scammers scam in the sense they would say that we'll give you an airbnb link because the house was uh, uh, listed on airbnb and because of the pandemic the business is slow business is slow so they are now they are uh, planning to just rent it out to someone like me so they are offering the place at a very cheap rate so they are like we'll give you the link and you just pay us the money there uh, but when they send you the link you can make it out easily that it's a, it's a scam so i found, i came across two such people from so nine replies were reduced to 7 from 7 i got an opportunity to view at least four properties none of them got back to me saying whether they want to rent it to me or not at one of at one place i had to give a proper interview and the guy was asking me uh, questions as if he wanted me to work there for him i don't know there's nothing wrong with it it's it's good if you want to know your uh, uh, your tenants but i think it's a little too much given what the situation is right now uh obviously he he didn't give me the job i mean he didn't give me the property uh that's the only place where i got rejected the other uh, three or four places never responded to me so yeah i stopped looking in cork and i started looking outside cork and cork suburbs were just not happening for me i think i'm lucky given the conditions i mean i have been uh, seeing how students live here in ireland in these sharing accommodation houses the condition of the houses uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Well, for now it doesn't seem like things will improve. Let me just show where I moved. It's a quiet village very close to Cork, about 15 kilometers. Cork is about 20 kilometers from here. My workplace is just 15 kilometers. There are no signals between here to my workplace, so I can just drive right there in 15 minutes, which is very handy. The house is very good. The build quality is brilliant and uh Yes I'm looking forward to uh spending some time here laying low it's also very close to, uh, to a beach it's there are two beaches actually and there's a little cove very close by so that's something that has been part of my life beach i mean for the past 8 uh, or 10 months because i've been living in kerry and in uh, west cork so that is going to continue and i'm really happy about that You guys take care of yourself. Bye-bye.